hey guys welcome back to my channel um please forget forgive the way i look as you can see i'm twisting my hair can you guys see like i really started twisting my hair last night and it was so late i had to go to bed and continue today so uh, i decided to like do a get ready with me kind of video where i twist my hair and then we just chit chat and um yeah so one of the one of the questions i get asked a lot is um so how are you able to get accommodation or get an apartment in canada as a new immigrant and so i decided to talk about that in this video so before i get into that let me just introduce myself briefly just in case you're new to my channel um so my name is miriam you can call me mimi everybody calls me mimi i'm a natural hair content developer and youtuber i'm a nigerian and i'm based in canada i moved to canada almost one year ago it's almost one year like i think it in the next one week i'm um, next two weeks is going to i'm going to clock one year in canada yay so yeah i'm twisting my hair guys it's, um so as you can see i'm twisting my hair and i'm using this coiling cream like i've told i've told you guys about this coiling cream before my i'm almost out of it this coiling cream is amazing and you can see how um the reason why my twist looks so smooth and so neat is because after um using the um, coiling cream i use a tango teaser this is a tango teaser to like really remove the knots and um tangles in my hair so when you twist your hair it comes out really really neat and smooth that's and with this now i can carry this twist for as long as i want yeah i know my hair looks kind of short but it's because my hair is really shrunken so yeah you can see that this is the length of my hair but this is it what can you do right all right so let's dive right into it how do you get an accommodation how do you get accommodation in canada as a new immigrant okay so first thing you need to know is that um if you're coming to canada and you don't know anybody that can put you up temporarily then your best option would definitely be an airbnb airbnb they cost they cost a lot sometimes but if you don't have anybody to put you up that's literally your best bet and um also another reason why you might need um to get an airbnb is because most of the rents well not most <laughs> every rental agreement starts from the first of the month so if you come into canada in the middle of the month which is most likely anyways so you see what i was talking about it's smooth now so if you come into canada in the middle of the month you definitely need somewhere to put up before you can like move into your apartment if you're lucky to get one and then that's why you will need an airbnb another thing you can do is to get someone who can um like house you for the meantime while you find your feet in canada so um personally my own personal story i didn't have to do airbnb because um i had a friend already in canada while i was in nigeria and she helped me look around for um a place it's not always easy to get a place if you if you're not already in canada and if you don't have a credit score um uh, but um i was lucky because she found this really really awesome couple they are filipinos so they were able to allow us to stay like my housemate and i that was how i met my housemate by the way they were able to allow us to stay in their basement and um we didn't need any credit score or um employment letter or pay stop or whatever to move in they just house all we had to do was just pay them and that was it so that was a risk they took on us because we didn't even have jobs nothing so where was the next rent going to come from but they had that faith in us and they put us up in their basement so yeah i'm forever grateful to that couple and um yeah so um the first thing i want to talk about is um let's like, there are actually four major types of 
um, housing in Canada, which is the condo, the condo apartments. It's really nice, high end, you know. The condos, the apartment buildings, the standalone houses, like the um, maybe like semi detached or townhouses, and of course, we have the basements. So, for new immigrants, I would strongly recommend the basement for a new immigrant. And the reason why I recommend a basement is that, um, first of all, the leasing terms, right? The leasing terms for basements are pretty flexible. In the sense that, like for example, you don't always have to pay one year. Like the lease in Canada, like lease agreements are always for one year, right? But uh, with a basement, because most times the basements are attached to the main house, and you're dealing with the owner of the house who owns the basement, so you could, if you're lucky, be able to negotiate with negotiate with the owner of the house for you to like maybe just um, pay for six months. And then within that six months, you can then concentrate on um, building your connections in Canada, getting a job, building your credit score. And that way, with that, after six months, hopefully you should be able to get all you need, all the required documentation you need to now get the kind of housing or accommodation you want. I love the way this tango teaser just to make your hair like so smooth. See? Oh my god. This is so nice. So, um, another reason why I, I also recommend basements for new immigrants is that basements are usually big enough for um, small families. Um, basements usually come in either one room basement or two room basements and the two room basements like if you're a father mother with maybe like two kids you can manage a two bedroom basement for a start and um, basements come with everything you need like you have your washroom you have your kitchen and just the basics you need to just start off life in Canada you have it in the basement and another reason, another thing again, while I recommend basements, is that some basements come fully furnished. And as a new immigrant, <laughs> like who wants to rent an apartment and then okay, well, most apartments come with fridge, like the basic amenities like fridge, um, sometimes dish dishwasher, microwave, and that's it so you still have to like get things like your bed your sofa um the things you need in your washroom and all that but some basements come fully furnished like when i moved into the um first basement it was already furnished and i just moved into this apartment as you can see i'm living in a, i'm living in a two bedroom um basement my husband and I just got this place like a couple of months ago. This one also came fully furnished because we've been in Canada for most of year, but of course we didn't like gather um, stuff. We didn't buy stuff because the first place we stayed at was already furnished. So we were looking for something that was also already furnished because we didn't really want to be in the whole pandemic and everything. We didn't want to like go start, go start buying furniture and moving it like it's so much work so we definitely needed something that was furnished so yeah another reason why i recommend basements is that some of them come fully furnished which is fantastic for a new immigrant let me give you a very 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 brief tour of my um apartment my basement apartment let me just turn my camera all right mm. so this is my kitchen as you can see it already came fully furnished like every single thing you see here came with the house microwave everything came with the house as an oven the fridge also came with the house and this is the living room the living room is quite small but i like it it's small and cute the um the vacuum cleaner <laughs> also came with the house the couch everything every single thing every, the only thing that we bought we had to bring up the tv of course is ours there was actually a tv here but we asked them to take it out and then the rug we got the rug ourselves and this light we bought this light from our former landlord and yeah everything 
came with the house even the painting came with the house small cute it's small and cute but i like it so this is the passageway and um this is my own washroom my own bathroom and this is my room and that right there is my housemate's room she has her own washroom inside her room so she basically took the master suite and actually like my own room because i have a very big mirror let me just show you that is my mirror like my mirror is huge so yeah she doesn't have this kind of mirror so yeah i chose that room because i liked the mirror and um yeah like I said, I would strongly recommend the basement for an immigrant because the leasing terms are very, like I said, the, the leasing terms are flexible. Some basements come fully furnished and um, some basements are big enough for families, small families. And also most basements come all inclusive, meaning that your um, your bill, your, your water, your electricity, which is really called hydro here, your water, your electricity, your cable or the internet, they all come inclusive in the rent so when you pay your rent in the month it covers all those basic amenities which is pretty fantastic so that's those are the reasons why i will um, um recommend a basement for a new immigrant and that and that tip again i have is this when you finally find the accommodation you want please and please and please be 100 percent sure that that is the accommodation you want that is the um, housing you want before you sign the lease agreement or before you sign the rental agreement guys i learned this the hard way so after um when my husband and i were looking for um, an apartment before we got this one right when we were moving from the first place we stayed in to get our own place we saw a couple of houses that we liked like we, we really really liked there was this particular one like we were like sure that this is what we wanted even though it wasn't furnished but the house was so fine so we went the, the agent um i found the agent on kijiji she sent me oh, sorry i found the agent on facebook marketplace so she sent me the um rental agreements the we read through everything although we were still looking at other places but we went ahead and signed that lease agreement luckily we hadn't even paid and then we now saw this place and we're like nope it has to be this place and then we now told the agent that okay sorry we won't be taking that place anymore because we found something that we like and it's furnished and we're thinking she'll be like oh, okay but you guys already agreed um okay sure no problem we're thinking to just go like that oh no this agent was like nope you guys have already signed a rental agreement with me and so you have to go with this accommodation if you don't take this accommodation i'm going to sue you and black oh my god oh my when she mentioned the whole swing thing eh? my head just they grind like what the hell i've not even landed i've never even settled in this country and someone is already threatening to sue me so that was really really scary like we literally had to pray our way out of that situation because we didn't know what to do hiring a lawyer here was going to be expensive we didn't even want we really didn't even want to take that one anymore because our minds were already out of that that particular house and we we're like no it has to be this one because this one is fully furnished and as you can see we both have our own washrooms like that one we have to share one washroom but this one we had our own washroom so like this one was ticking all the boxes for us and we we're like no we have to go with this one but oh well like i said we had to pray our way out of it and then all of a sudden she just stopped calling us that was really really scary and so guys please before you sign that lease agreement be 200 percent sure that you want to take that particular accommodation okay and another tip i have for new, new immigrants is days that you can actually rent a house or sorry you can rent a room in the house so let's say someone owns a house you can just rent a room in the house but this is this is best for single people not married people or people with families you can if you're a single person this is fantastic for you You can just rent a room in the house and uh, stay that as a just you can just stay there for your first year or your first six months while you figure yourself out get a job um 
get uh, yeah get a job build your credit score credit score is extremely important for getting accommodation in Canada so yeah you need to like build your credit score and um, and all that so getting renting a room in a house is a good way to start while you get yourself all oh, oh this is why is this like this I need to redo this I think I did it upside down yeah so renting a room in the house is a fantastic way to start off as a oh my god I have just twisted it for the first and look at how my twist came out this coiling cream is amazing this coiling cream is something else I you guys saw like I just twisted this just now I just loosened it to redo it and look at my coils already popping like seriously wow this cream is good this coiling cream is good. I'm sticking to it. I'll, I'll definitely be, I'll definitely buy that one once this one finishes. I was, I was talking about the renting a room, but the, the downside to renting a room in, in in a house is that you need to just get ready because you will have to live by the rules and regulations of the owner of the house. So if they say you need to be at home by 10, then you need to be at home by 10. If they say I don't want men or I don't want noise in my house or i don't want visitors in my house then you have to just abide by that because they own the house right and yeah and also another downside to that is that most times you don't always have your privacy because um you guys will most likely be sharing um maybe a washroom maybe you might share a washroom with them and most definitely you have to share kitchen with them cook with them so like our nigerian food that can be <laughs> if you're using yuru to cook and your yuru smells all over the house you're not going to tell you oh i don't like your food please stop cooking that particular thing you cook and you share things like the house, the kitchen the fridge and all that you guys will share all those spaces together so uh, it's okay for a temporary basis but you just suck it up and just do it while you just build your credit score, get your job, get everything you need, documentation you need to get an apartment in Canada. Also, as a new immigrant, another thing you should look out for is um, houses that are close to very basic amenities. So you most likely, of course, you won't have a car when you're new, so you want an accommodation that is close to the bus stops trust me this is so important especially during in during winter oh my god you don't want to have to work walk like 10 minutes to your house from the bus stop when the bus stops you you literally just freeze your ass to death before you get home yeah so you need to consider that also live in a house that's close to bus stop and um close to basic amenities like the grocery store um close to recreational parks for kids you want to be able to like just walk um uh, to the grocery store or at least at most take one bus to the grocery store buy your grocery and then come back home so that's also very important yeah so that's my tip number four um for you to that's to get accommodation that's close to basic amenities and then also another very very important thing you need to know and this is tip number five is this please and please and please and please and please when you find a find an accommodation and you see the pictures most times it's online like if you're using the sites or maybe the agent sends you pictures don't sign that lease agreement if you haven't seen the house physically trust me when we when were looking for houses and we saw so many pictures online and we, of course we had to go look at the houses before we pay and oh my god the very very first house that we saw and that was so far i had to drive like literally 20 minutes or like 30 minutes to get to that particular house it was so far oh it was so bad like the picture didn't even depict the exact um situation or the exact nature of that house it's just the, the person that took the picture just put the camera angle in a way that it's get like really really nice <clears throat> really nice angles and made the place the house look really nice but oh my god the place looked like they just like carved it out of somewhere it i won't even house my maybe my worker or someone that is maybe like, maybe like my maid or something i won't even house my maid there that place was terrible and the picture was so different from what it looked like physically 
so if agent sends you pictures please make sure you view the house before you pay for it if you're not able to view the house yourself then get someone to view it for you because you're paying or rather you're signing a one-year lease agreement you most likely don't want to be stuck in a very uncomfortable place for one whole year imagine living in a place you're not comfortable during winter that's like living in hell the last but not the least is there are so many websites where you could go to um, get houses it's so easy like you won't walk on the street and then see a house written for let or for rent <laughs> like we have back home no so here you have to use an agent definitely and then also you there are a lot of websites where you can go and um, see houses that are available for rent so it depends on what you want if you want to rent a house you want to rent a basement you want to rent a condo you want to rent an apartment or you want to buy whatever it is you want to do all the information you want is available online and there are a lot of sites that can and the sites are re um, reliable yeah maybe that what they're reliable so um um so some of the sites are i'm just going to just like list them here but let me just list them so um, we have kgg.com kgg is the most popular and then you also have facebook marketplace and also facebook groups there's some facebook groups that you can belong to and they always have listings like i belong to like um Oakview buy and sell, Mississauga buy and sell. So those kind of Facebook groups they always like carry listings if available. There's also Realtor.ca. This is a website for realtors where they go to list the apartments that they have. And then there's also condo.ca. I think that one is for condos. And then um, there's viewit.com. Viewit.com is also another one. And then Rent Seeker. These are just a few. There are still many more. So you can just go to any of those websites to look for houses and then you'll see what you're looking for there. Okay guys, so um, I'm done with my twisting now. As you can see, it came out really nice. And um, so this is something I hope to be able to carry for um, at least a month. <laughs> so I don't have to like um, do my hair again for the next one month, hopefully. Because honestly, I'm just tired. I just want to just relax now from my hair. So yeah guys, that's what I have for you for today. I hope this was very useful information for somebody. If you have any more questions, please drop them in the comment section. If you have any more um, tips to add for new immigrants and you're um, in Canada, please go ahead and um, drop it in the comment section also. That will also um, help somebody out. Ah, okay guys, so that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching my video. I need to go take off this t-shirt and maybe take a shower and go out. It's summer. Let me just go out and enjoy the sun and launch my new hair. Thank you guys for watching the video. I will see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Bye. <laughs>